Okay, let's solve uh, problems on uh, simply supported beam uh, using uh, conjugate beam theorem. Now, let's take this problem. Here, the I values are changing. So, we'll take uh, E constant, yeah, but the I values are changing. Now, uh, first draw the elastic curve, then draw the bending moment diagram. Now, let's, after that, let's draw the M by EA diagram. So let's draw the M by E A diagram. Uh, let's draw the let's now let's draw the conjugate beam. So I'm writing a conjugate beam. Now in the conjugate beam, the first we need to take care about the support. Uh, in simply supported beam, uh, if the both the ends ends are if it is a simply supported or if it is a hinge or if it is a roller then the support condition at the end will not change so you need to remember the hinge at the end will remain a hinge so simply supported at the hinge will remain a simply supported so there is no change at the ends okay now so for that i'm repeatedly saying go through the end conditions uh, now draw the conjugate beam. So next draw the M by A diagram. So conjugate beam is drawn. So this is simply supported. Both are simply supported. No change. So this is what is the A dash and this is what is the B dash. Now what is the M by A diagram? Now let's draw the M by D diagram. At C the moment is 120. So now for in the region A I call this one as a C. So in the region AC so in the region AC EI is EI no change so M by EI diagram is 120 by EI so it remains a 120 by EI so it's same now when it is comes to the region CB uh, we said it is 2 EI so you need to divide it by 2 uh, so 120 divided by 2 is a 16 so it comes down so 16 then it goes linearly so this is 60 by EI. So this is what you need to remember it. So hence accordingly we will have two regions. Now let's find the uh, slope at A. Slope at A. Theta A which is equal to so what is that? Shear force shear force at A dash in conjugate beam. So this is a conjugate beam. Shear force at A dash in conjugate beam. So, which is equal to, you find the shear force. Now, uh, in the bending moment diagram, so this is, uh, it's a simply supported, so it is uh, sagging. So, I'll give you the positive bending moment. In case of the positive bending moment, the arrow will be downwards. So, this is the downward arrow I'll be, be using it. Because in conjugate beam, its MOE diagram is a loading. So, that you need to take care. It's a loading here. So, let's take this and uh, get the reactions so how we'll find the reaction for this uh, simply supported beam loaded with the uniform uvl cases so take moment at uh, b dash is equal to zero suppose i wanted to know va dash so this is what is a va dash and this is what is vb dash which is equal to va dash so let's find the va dash how we'll take take the moment at uh, b dash is equal to zero so if you take the moment at b dash is equal to zero so take the region one take region 2 so let's consider region 2 now so what is the region 2 half into base is 4 into height is 60 by ei so into cg distance what is the cg distance it's a two third of 4 then plus second first region so half into base into height height is 120 by ei into cg distance is how much from the base is one third of 4 plus 4 so this is the overall so then you have taken a moment at b dash is equal to zero so if you divide it by length that is what is what you will get v a dash you will get v a dash v a dash into l is there so l is 8 meter so therefore v a dash is equal to it is 200 by ea this works out to be 200 by ea now so therefore theta a is equal to 200 by ei now what is the slope 
at B that is theta B theta B is equal to shear force at B dash in conjugate beam which is equal to VB dash now how we find the VB dash VB dash is equal to we can have a shortcut here so total load total load uh, I have I can calculate the total load minus VA dash so what is the total load here so area of the both the two regions so you need to consider it half into base into height plus half into base into height so minus VB is 200 by EI so VB dash is equal to so you 160 by EI So this is what is slope at B. Therefore, theta B is equal to, you can write all this, theta B is equal to, therefore, theta B is equal to 160 by EI. Okay. Now let's find the uh, deflection. So where we need to find deflection at uh, C. Deflection at C. Delta C. What is delta C here? So which is equal to, uh, uh, in conjugate beam deflection means is a bending moment so that you need to remember it so then bending moment at C dash in conjugate beam so how you need to get the bending moment at C dash in conjugate beam so delta C is equal to you need to get the bending moment at this means you need to get the bending moment at C dash so you need to get the bending moment at C dash here. So this point. How will you take? So VA into 4 minus this reaction. You need to take the moment. Or you can work from VB also. Anytime you can use it. So I will be using from VA. So it is uh, VA dash. So VA dash is uh, uh, how much? It is 200 by EI VA dash into length is 4 meter minus next region half into base into height into CG distance one third of four so just we will calculate it how much you will get 800 minus uh, uh, 120 into 2 into 4 by 3 answer is 480 by EA yeah that's it